I prepared a nice workout with the weights, shoulders, stuff, nice and controlled movement. And let's don't talk too much. Let's start. Let's lie on our backs. Let's take these weight balls and the legs are bent and more or less hip distance apart open. From here, you're gonna open your elbows a little bit to the side. I just compare that sometimes like we're doing a bench press and your hands are in line with your elbows and let's extend the arms and bend. You try to touch with your elbow and your upper arm the floor. One thing what here, what sometimes can happen is that we're lifting the shoulders too much up. So gently, slightly pull your shoulders away from your ears. Good. Up. And it doesn't have to be super heavy. It's just moving from your shoulder joint. Let's go four up and down. Three. Two, good. One last time, then keep your arms bent and your elbows stay on the floor. And I'm calling this exercise um, um, a pro, not as a prone, it's a supine scare crow. So keep the shoulders a little bit away from your hand and your ears. You're going to bring your forearms towards the floor and you come back up. And what we're trying to avoid is any movement from your shoulders. So basically doing your external shoulder rotators. And if you cannot touch the floor with your hands, that's totally fine. Again, make sure that your shoulder joints are staying away from movement as much as you can. Good. And now the weight what we have is enough. Let's go also here for four more times. Good, and last time. Now, keep your arms in that starting position and we're going to do the opposite movement. So we're going to bring the hands, forearms down the opposite direction towards the floor. And here, you, I cannot go further than that. That's enough. If I will go further than that, my shoulders are lifting up, but we're trying to avoid that. So we're just doing this half movement down and up. Yes, down, good. And again, just a reminder, watch your shoulder joints. It would be, it would be cool if we would have a mirror at the ceiling. Then we can check our shoulders, but we don't have that. Only dentists have that. Good. Good, and last time. Good, now let's connect these two exercises together. So once you're trying to bring your forearms in the opposite direction again, external rotation, and then we're going to do internal rotation. And connecting these two exercises together. Good, let's do that one last time. And good. Now, when we've done this one, let's lift the arms up again towards the ceiling and you, the palms or the weight balls or the weights are facing away from you. We're going to lower your arms right next to you. They're almost touching the mat and you lift them up and you try to bring them right next to your head. Also, almost the arms are hovering over the mat, over the floor. And again, down. Yes, and up. Sometimes what can happen if you bring our arms right next to our head, that's a little bit of pressure in our shoulders. If that's too much for you, you can open the arms. They don't have to be shoulder width apart. They can be also a little more. Up. And again here, watch your shoulder joint.
good last time towards down and right next to your head and let's keep the arms lifted right towards the ceiling and this time we're going to rotate the weights towards each other and open the arms to the sides almost they're almost touching the floor and bring them back up towards the ceiling yes and open and close Try to get the uh, control in the movement, no fast movements, just control it. Last three. Two, good, and last time. Nice. Now, let's connect all these three exercises together. So we're trying to do the biggest arm circle. You decide which direction you start. And also control your arm um, circles and if you don't have enough space for example you can also keep your arms slightly bent that's your choice and also if the weights are getting too much you're of course more than welcome to leave them down just a suggestion Let's do one last circle in this direction. And then let's do the circle in the opposite direction. Let's go for last two. And last time down, yes. Let's bring the weight down back and relax these arms and these hands. Just shake the arms for one little second. Good. Good. Let's take the weight balls again into our hands and the palms are facing up towards the ceiling. We're trying to reach with these arms away and we're lifting our chest. And then you bring your arms and your head upper body back down and again it's more about of reaching your arms away from you than lifting your chest let's say this is just the result of your arm movement good let's go here for three more yes repetitions up nice and down two Good. Now let's keep our chest and our arms lifted and we're going to do mini circles with the arms. Just mini circles. Doesn't have to be big. And opposite direction, circle. Good. And bring your arms and your upper body down. Relax for one second. You can move your head side to side to relax your neck muscles. Good. Now concentrate on your center. So you draw the abdominal wall in and you lift two legs up to tabletop and you can keep these legs closed. Again, lift your chest and keep your chest lifted. And again, six tiny little circles with the arms. Four three keep on smiling smiling always helps not only Pilates class good opposite arm circles and good and then bring everything back down nice good let's keep the weight balls for one second to the side you can bring your legs feet more or less hip distance the hip distance apart on the mat and you place your arms right next to your upper body let's do a couple of bridges hip lifts pelvic curl hip rolls whatever you want to call that important to me is that you're looking for the articulation of your spine and again lift it up and down uh, 
just as a little massage for your spine. Nice. Let's go one last time. Lift and lower. Good. This time you can keep your pelvis down and let's lie on one side. Doesn't matter which one, we're going to do both sides anyways. So here you can have your legs in a bent comfortable position and your arm can be, your bottom arm can be either bent or extended and you're resting your head onto your arm. We're holding on to our weight and we have the elbow little in contact with the front part of our ribs so not far too much back more here and then we're going to do again really good exercise for our shoulder stability the external rotation so you lift your arm and bring it back down and also here it's important that you keep the shoulder joint away from moving because sometimes i'm exaggerating what can happen is that we bring it back and front then you realize that you can only lift up to one point then that's it. And it's a small muscle group, so then the tendency of these muscles is that they tend to get tired faster in comparison to a bigger muscle group. Good, three, and two, and last one, nice. Good, then from here, you're going to extend your arm front and make also sure that you pull your shoulder slightly away from you like and pull it slightly down. Now lift your arm until the point where you still can see it from the tip of your eyes and bring it back down. It is almost hovering over your mat and lift it up again and down. Good, also here, try to find the control on the way up, there's a one point where it gets difficult and also on the way down. Try to concentrate on control that movement that brings you control and strength. Four more times. Two. Nice. And one last time. Good. From here. Rotate the palm away from you, so towards your feet. We're going to lower the arm. That is almost the arm is almost touching your hips, and you lift it back up that it's in line with your shoulder. And down. And up. Here you're also at one point you have to concentrate that it's not like kind of dropping. So also here, control that as much as you can. It's just reminders what I'm telling you. There are no critiques. Good. There's no right and you're wrong. Not there's no right and no wrong. Maybe if an exercise doesn't work, it's an opportunity to learn. And three, two, good, and last time down, good. And then bring your weight right in front of you, and we're going to do a little thigh stretch. That's okay for you, either touch your more or less your toes or your ankle depending on your mobility. And then from here, you can pull it slightly back. And if you push a little bit with your foot into your hand, you're getting maybe a bigger stretch. What helps me is also that I'm pressing my right hip a little bit front. So as if I'm trying to go into an imprint position, then I feel that also here in the front of my hip a little bit more. And of course, important is that we keep the thigh parallel. So less movements like that. Good. Good. Now you're going to bring your leg in front of you and your arm as well. Because we're going to open up like a little rotation and you can follow with your head the movement of your arm. If that comfortable here, stay in that stretch and breathe. If it's uncomfortable, then come back. And now let's close the arm again and we're going to open this again. Open. Sometimes what, what I think of is I'm trying to reach with my arm 
away as I'm trying to reach the corner, the 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 corner of the room. Yes, and then back. And last time open. Good. Nice. Then let's go to the other side and we're having all this nice shoulder work on the other side. So we have here this bent leg position and we started first with this external rotation. So here, let's open and close. Again here, try to keep your elbow also there and your shoulder is staying away from movement as much as you can. And last one. Good. Extend your arm front. And like on the other side, lift it up. You still can see it from the tip of your eyes and bring it back down that your arm is hovering over your mat and lift it up again and bring it back down. Last two. And one, yes. Keep your arm lifted and you're going to face the the uh, hand, the ball away from you or the weight and you bring it down and up. Down, up. Yes, towards your pelvis, good. And last time. Good. Then you place your weight ball down. And we're going to do the thigh stretch. So either go to your foot or to your ankle. And try to pull your thigh behind you a little bit. Here again you can press with your foot gently in your hand. As if you're trying to extend your leg. But your hand is holding it. Holding it from there, yeah. And then the other thing is, I'm sometimes trying to press my hip a little bit front. Good. Then we had this nice rotational stretch. So you extend your leg front towards in front of you. And then your arm is also front. And you can open your arm and your upper body. And maybe on this side, you feel a bigger stretch in comparison to the other side, or less. That's OK. And then close it and up again. And back. And one last time. Open. Enjoy that rotational stretch. And back. Good. Now, let's come up to the all fours position. And you're going to have your weight ball not so far away from you or your weight, depending on what you have. Good. Let's start to warm up. I mean, to warm up. We already warm the cat stretch. A couple of times round your back, lower your head, and extend your spine and lift your head. And with each repetition movement, you're trying to get a bigger stretch, round it even more. 
and extend your spine. And last time. Good. Now, we're staying in that all fours, all fours position and we're taking our weight in one hand. It doesn't matter which one, we're going to do both anyways. From here, we're going to lift and lower your left arm, but I would like to add a little bit of balance. So, if you have your left arm, extend your right leg so your leg is still on the floor. If you have your right arm, extend your left leg. From here, what we're going to do, first, lift your arm. And we're going to check that position of the shoulder. So keep that arm lifted for one second. And lift the shoulder a little bit up. So you bring the shoulder blade towards your spine. And try to make this arm as long as possible. When you lower your arm, you're trying to lift your leg at the same time. And when you lift your arm, you lower your leg. Good. And of course, you draw the abdominal wall in for the nice control and the support of your back. Good. And let's go five, four, three, two, and last time, yes, and down. Let's do the same thing with the other side. First, lift your arm. You're making sure that your shoulder is in line. Maybe you're going to go the other side so you can see that better. Here, shoulder blade is going a bit towards your spine. Make your arm as long as possible. Then lower your arm, lift your leg, and then you lift your arm. Go to the opposite, yes. Then you lift your leg, you lower your arm, and you lift your arm, you lower your leg. Yes, this is what I wanted to say. Good. Make your arm long, even longer. Four, five, four, three, two, nice, one, good. And then relax your arms. You can sit with your pelvis on your heels and you decide what kind of arm positions you want to take. You can also open your knees a little bit to the side. Just relax your lower back for a second. You can also move side to side. If you don't like this rest position, you can also go to a cat stretch. That's a little suggestion. Good. Let's come back to the all fours position. I just go a little diagonal. And this time the legs, they stay in the all fours position. So not like before. This time, take your weights or your weight ball in one hand and open the arm to the side. We're trying to lift the arm to the side and lower it that it's almost touching the floor. Yes, and from here, it's important to me that you try to make your arm as long as possible. Last two, and good. Let's go with the other side. Make your arm long, lifted, and lower. Good. It doesn't have to be so high, let's say more or less until your shoulder height. Three, two, and one. Good. And relax your arms, your wrists for one second. Shake it out. Sometimes there's also, of course, a little pressure. When it's also from your wrist a little bit too much, you can always go on your forearm. That also works. Now, we did back. We did side. Now we're going to do front. So change your arm again. Lift or take your weight ball or your weight, and this time the palm is facing down. 
here again as i said i'm showing you you can either lift the arm a little bit diagonal or just really in line with the shoulder that's your choice depending on your shoulder mobility let's go lift it up and down yes make sure that your shoulder stays away from your head your ears And last time, good. Let's do the other side. Lift and lower up. Last time, good and then really relax your arms. Nice, Let relax your arms, relax your wrists. Good, can you come into a comfortable seated position? Either with the crossed leg or with the legs extended, it's your choice. And we have these weights in our hands and like we are, pre we are presenting them on a little tray and your elbows are kind of in contact with your ribcage. Now, open your arms, extend your arms, bend and close. Again, open, make your arms long, close, back. Again, here, up, down, close, open, up, down, nice. Let's go. Four, three, two, and last time. Let's keep the arms extended. Try to make them as long as you can and you still see them without looking at them. Careful, shoulders are less up, shoulders are down. Now. Bring the elbows just a tiny little bit towards your ribcage. Bend your arms a little bit and extend. Bend, it's just a small movement. Bend and make them even longer. Bend, long, long, good, up. This is a nice exercise because we're going to hold it. Make these arms long, hold it, hold it, hold it again. Bend, bend a tiny bend, full extension. And we go 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. And relax your arms. Nice. Good. Try to find a nice way because we are going to go on to our backs we're going to do this exercise first without weights and then we're going to do it with weights so can you place your hands on your chest and your elbows are s is slightly open to the side good lift your chest keep your chest lifted open your arms to the sides bring your arms back and lower your chest and again, up, open, close, down, and again, lift, open your arms, down, and back. So there was just a little try. We're going to do the same thing with your weights. Arms bent, weights are on your chest or on your rib cage. Lift your chest. Open the arms, bend your arms, and lower your chest. Good. Again. Up, open, down. Nice. And again. Up, open, back, down. Lift your chest, open it up, bring it back down. Good. Good. 
one last time. Nice and down. Now, can you extend your legs as much as you can? Extend your arms right next to you and your he weights are in your hands and the palms are facing up. We're going to do a roll up. So lift your chest, lift your arms, you come up to a seated position and we're doing that nice stretch. Your weights, hands are trying to reach front. And then we slowly, slowly go back down. And we keep for today your hands next to your upper body. And up. Reach. And front. And down. And last time up, reach and down. Good, this time we're gonna stay down and we roll on one side. And we have again this position from before on your side, but this time your legs are completely extended in a flex position. And for now, you can keep your hands in front of you without any weights. Because we're going to lift two legs up and down. Yes. Good, and one last time. Now, keep your legs down onto your mat. Take your weight, extend it up towards the ceiling. You still see it from the tip of your eyes and your palm is facing towards your legs. Now, lower your arm and lift your top leg so they meet halfway and then you go back. Good, just halfway so the arm is not moving too much. Yes. Good. Now, we're going to do the same thing, but lift two legs up, keep the bottom leg lifted, and the arm and the top leg are doing the same. Good, last time. And go back down, bring your hand your weight in front of you. Let's go over to the other side and you can take already this weight with you. But the first exercise, a little warm up for this exercise was without weight. Only lift and lower two legs up and down. Good. Keep your legs down. Take your weight. First, keep your bottom leg down and then arm and leg lift or find each other halfway. Good. Now, let's lift both legs up. Bottom leg stays lifted, and we're going to do the same thing. Good. 
last two. Good, and last one. Nice. Bring everything back down. Weight is going to the side. Let's lie onto our backs, Let's, and we do a stretch. So bend your legs and bring your ankle on the opposite knee. And either you can stay here or you're pulling this leg which is on the mat towards you. Then let's switch. Good, then let's then come up to a seated position, again in a comfortable position. And we're going to overcross one arm, and then you try to pull it a little bit towards you. So maybe you feel just a little stretch, just make sure that your shoulder is relaxed. Let's do the same thing with the other arm. And then open your arms, reach to the side, try to make yourself as long as possible. Then let's go to the other side. Come back to a seated position, arms are right next to you. Lift your arms, inhale, lower your arms, big exhale, try to take a big deep breath in and let the used air out. And one last time. And down. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you had a little bit of fun, I hope so. If you would like to see more, please subscribe. And if you want to watch more, then watch the next video. Thank you so much for joining me today. Bye.